Hi, Mary Morrissey here. You, probably like me, felt a big wave of perhaps sadness and both gratitude for the life of Wayne Dyer, particularly when we heard of his passing in the last few hours, that the feeling of, oh, Wayne, we're going to miss you on this side of things. I first met Wayne in 1985. He, like two other people, Les Brown and I, had the privilege of being very, very close to a mentor and a dear friend named Jack Bolin. And Jack introduced me to Wayne and said, you and Les, you three need to be close to each other and supporting each other because you're the three that I know who most understand how the invisible side of our nature works with the visible side of our results. We became friends and over many, many years did many, many programs together. I used to love to call Wayne's cell phone and even if I didn't get him, I would hear Wayne leaving a message and more recent years, it was this message. Hi, you reached the cell phone for Wayne Dyer. I hope you're calling me in some way to help me feel good because I only want to feel good. And if your phone call has any other purpose than my feeling good, I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and hang up and call Dr. Phil. <laughs> in the early days when Wayne would come and speak for me uh, at events I was doing, I remember when he was coming to terms with a new stage of less hair on the top of his head than he was used to. and. In those days, in the 80s and the early 90s, he would say, I just want to say out loud, I am actually not bald. It's just that I'm taller than where my hair is growing. He had a way of helping us laugh at ourselves and look at perspective and also understand our ability, each one of us, to tap to an infinite source, to choose who we were going to be, no matter what the circumstances in our lives were. He used to say that when you squeeze an orange, what comes out of an orange? And people would get quizzical, like, well, if I squeeze an orange, what comes out of an orange? And somebody would be bold enough to shout out loud, orange juice. And he would say, exactly. And why would that be? And again, people would, why would orange juice? It's like, what are you talking about? And he'd say, orange juice comes out of an orange when you squeeze it, because it was what was in the orange all along. And when life squeezes you, what will come out of you will not be what the circumstance makes happen. It'll be what's in you anyway. So when what you put inside of you is love and for yourself and others, a desire to do good things, a study of the infinite side of your nature, a willingness to explore the invisible side of how life works, then when life squeezes you, which it will undoubtedly do, what will come out of you is a greater version of you because that's what you've been building inside of yourself all along. So on this day where millions of us are reaching out to each other and sending love and gratitude for the great being of Wayne Dyer and the great impact of his life and his willingness to show up when it was easy and his willingness to show up when it was hard, may we all join in our gratitude and our thanksgiving for the blessings in our world of Wayne Dyer. And also I ask you to join in me in knowing that the great wave of love that's coming from the earth to Wayne Dyer's spirit will lift him and is lifting him to the highest of all heavens. We send prayers to his family, his friends, and to each other. Thanks for listening to this. I send you my love today. Bye-bye.